We're told Governor Shapiro has just signed that emergency disaster declaration in the wake of the collapse of the I-95 bridge. It happened behind me here yesterday morning around 6.20. A tanker exploded under the underpass there. The driver still unaccounted for. But what the governor's disaster declaration does, it will speed up federal funding. And he has been in touch with the Biden administration, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. We're also told that investigators with the NTSB, National Transportation Safety Board, are here on scene. And we do expect Senator Bob Casey to be here as well today touring the devastation. Viewers took video of the explosions that could be seen for miles along I-95 yesterday morning. Fortunately, no drivers going along that section were hurt. It was on the northbound lane, but, but right now north and southbound lanes are closed and there are detours all around northeast Philadelphia. There were manhole explosions as fumes from some 8,500 gallons of fuel were told were in the tanker. Again, the driver unaccounted for, but uh, the governor had said it was just a miracle. No one was driving on that overpass at the time that this happened. Aerial views show the devastation. This is a major artery for people and goods coming between New York City, Washington, all the way south to Florida. So it is a major disruption that the governor and officials said could take months to rebuild. A 95, of course, is a critical roadway. It supports our economy and plays an important role in folks' everyday lives. Our administration, together with the Kennedy administration and all of our partners, are all hands on deck to repair this safely, safely and as efficiently as possible. Transportation officials tell us they estimate about 160,000 vehicles cross that section of I-95 north and southbound each and every day. So it is very critical to get the repairs underway. We've seen fire trucks pouring water, dousing water on the section underneath the underpass where that explosion occurred. And we hope to find out more, of course, throughout the day about the investigation into just what caused it. Live in Northeast Philadelphia, Barbara Barr for News 8.